Hey Palawan, welcome to your reading and today we are going to be doing a reading about your manifestation and this reading is going to be a little bit different. So this reading is going to be me giving you the opportunity to perceive your manifestation. This is what I mean by this. So as soon as you want something it is already giving ask and it is given so as soon as you get the idea in your head that hey i want to manifest this thing this thing is already here and it just is going to be up to you to get in the right mindset get on the right timeline to be able to perceive that manifestation so i wanted to try this new pick a card where i am helping you to perceive your manifestation and <clears throat> also my spirit team said that it would be helpful for y'all well most of y'all to like close your eyes when you're listening to the pick a card because it will help you to visualize it will help you to be able to perceive your manifestation because your manifestation is already there but this video is just going to help you to perceive it so oh i'm so excited for this video and i'm i don't know i'm just oh, i'm nervous a little bit for the unknown but yes this is the video that i was guided to do and i'm so excited so let's get into it so pile one close your eyes if you have headphones put your headphones in and think of a manifestation that you are trying to bring into your reality right now and we are going to attempt to remove the blindfold from your perception so that you can perceive your manifestation so that you can see that it is there so that you can grasp it so it can be in your hands so yeah let's see okay so <clears throat> For your tarot cards, you have the Seven of Swords. For your Eerie cards, you have you have seen yourself from an alternate timeline. You have doctor's appointment. You have this person is trustworthy. You have the tree. And you have keep going, baby. Okay. So, wow. Whatever manifestation that you are trying to perceive right now, It is right on the other side of where you healed. So there is something that you have been like persistent in. There's something that you've been constant in. Um, everything in your life may not be constant, pile one, but there is something that you have been like constant in that you've been steady in that you have been trying and you've been trying and you've been trying and you've been trying there's something about you that has changed with this you have seen yourself from an, another timeline there is some there is an aspect of you that used to be you kind of um I guess you could say transcended your shadow side in a way. There was something, there was a characteristic about you or something about you that you did not like. So you changed it or you started to attempt to change it. Your manifestation is right there at the point where you trust yourself at the part where you where you are healed so whatever part in your life that you feel like you have healed that you have significantly changed that you have turned your life around in some type of a way 
whatever part of your life that you feel like you have wisdom in, whatever part of your life that you feel like you have mastery in is where your manifestation is. And you're probably not seeing this because you're probably not looking at yourself as a master, but you are a master. You're probably still seeing part, you know, the the parts of yourself that you weren't so proud of, but those parts of yourself are long gone. <clears throat> so your manifestation is in the in the full embodiment of this person that you have become, this healed person. You are healed. And so that's where the wool has been kind of over your eyes is because you think you may think that you're not fully healed but you're actually healed and healing is definitely a journey but you pretty much healed this part of yourself and, and you would know exactly what part of yourself I'm talking about this is where your manifestation is and you can't see it and you can't perceive it because you're not perceiving yourself as being healed Wow, that is amazing power one. Um, and also a tree is significant. Wisdom. You have a lot of wisdom in a certain area. And um like for example, if some of y'all are trying to manifest money, you have a lot of wisdom that you that you could um get that you can get this money from or you have a lot of wisdom that you can teach people um your manifestation is within your wisdom within your healed self and i'm gonna get y'all a few more cards Talk it out. I just pulled out the card that says talk it out. Your manifestation is within what you know. What is that thing that you can talk about for hours because you know all about it? You done been there, done that, and bought the t-shirt. That is where your manifestation is, power one. Oh my God. We have healed solar Plexus. I hate that I can't show the cards anymore, y'all. But we have healed solar plexus, plexus chakra. So, wow. You could have a healed solar plexus. I just got to saying that y'all are healed in some area. Look, speak your mind. This is where your manifestation is, power one. It's so straightforward. And I'm seeing in my third eye, I'm seeing um, like the blindfold be ripped off of somebody's head. So I'm getting that a lot of y'all, this is like, this is so straightforward because this is exactly what y'all needed. Speak your mind about what you know, your wisdom, the, the healed part of you, the part of you that is healed that is where your manifestation lies and you could have just not been seeing it because you are not considering yourself as fully healed because you're still thinking about maybe the things that you used to do or the way that you used to be but power one you are healed and that is where your manifestation is your manifestation is right there so power one this was amazing let me know if this helped y'all let me know if you perceived your manifestation if this helped you in any kind of way whatever way that it helped you this is this reading was so interesting to me and let me know what y'all think about it in the comments and i will see y'all in the next one bye hey pal two welcome to your reading and today we are going to be perceiving your manifestation and what i mean by that is as soon as you want to manifest something it is there because um what you ask you shall receive immediately so as soon as you uh, decide that you want to manifest something it is already given to you 
because the universe gives it to you right when you ask for it but it's just going to be up to you for you to perceive it so my guys gave me the idea for this video to help you perceive your manifestation because your manifestation is already there it is just up to you to perceive it it's up to you to get in a vibration um to perceive it it's up to you to get on that same timeline as your manifestation so that you can have it in your hands um so what i'm gonna be doing today with this reading is i'm gonna be helping you to perceive your manifestation so think of a manifestation think of something that you're trying to bring into the 3d and i am going to help you perceive it and my guys was also saying that for a lot of y'all it will be helpful for y'all to close your eyes when y'all listen to this video because it will help you to visualize it will help you to um it will help you to not so much as meditate but just kind of concentrate and visualize so you can really really grasp what i'm saying so my spirit team just is telling me to tell everybody to close their eyes um yeah so i'm gonna be helping you to perceive your manifestation because like i said it's already there and we're just gonna be pulling the wool from over your eyes and showing you where it is it's right in front of you where it's always been and power one was so interesting and i can't wait to see what y'all got so power two y'all have the page of pentacles for your tarot card for your eerie card you have envisu then you have watching you then you have take that trip You have the picture of the ghost. And then you have your heart is like poetry. your manifestation is your manifestation is in that one thing that you're scared to let go of your manifestation is on the other side of that one thing that you're scared to let go of that one thing that you're scared to um quote unquote take a risk in um you could be holding on to some money or you can be holding on to some type of investment maybe you there's something power to that you don't want to invest your money in or you don't want to invest your time in or you don't want to invest your energy in but your manifestation is on the other side of you doing that so you can't perceive your manifestation because you have not taken that step to invest your money, your time, or your energy. It's going to be different for everybody into that thing. Your manifestation is on the other side of you leaving of you leaving where leaving the things that you know your manifestation is waiting for you when you when you go kind of incognito your manifestation your manifestation is waiting on you to take that next step take that next step that you don't quite want to do whatever it is that you don't quite want to put your money into you don't quite want to put your energy into you don't quite want to put your time into that your manifestation is right behind that like i'm imagining 
you're like as soon as you put your money into that thing your manifestation is right there like it's right behind that that's that's the wool that's over your eyes is the the energy that you would have to put into something let me get you some more cards You also have money bag. So for some of y'all, or this can be this can be both for some of y'all, and for some of y'all, this can be one of the two. Your manifestation is right behind you investing your money into something, and for some of y'all, your manifestation is right behind you investing your heart into someone. Because we have this new lover. We have this running late. Your heart is like poetry. Take that trip. Like your manifestation is right behind you. Um, Kind of putting your heart on the line. Putting your money on the line. Putting your energy on the line. Putting your time on the line. being the example being the bigger person um i'm getting um the word pride too putting your pride to the side not caring what people think and taking that taking that leap taking that quote-unquote risk but it's not a risk i tell people this all the time it's not a risk it's a pivot it's a timeline shift because it's, as soon as you do this your timeline shifts and the manifestation is yours and it can be as quick as you want to as quick as you want it to be wow i just pulled boyfriends and i pulled pasta so ladies if if this most of my viewers are ladies and if you are a lady and there is a guy that you are being like prideful about or um you have certain um, rules and regulations that you follow when it comes to men and you just won't let yourself invest. If you were to invest, if you were to make the, the first move or be the bigger person, this could be a very, very prosperous relationship. I'm talking like power couple. I'm talking like marriage. I'm talking like r really, really... A, a committed relationship so i don't know if a lot of people in pile two could be manifesting a relationship and even if this is not a relationship it could be a um a job or, or whatever fill in the blank but the bottom line for pile two is that your manifestation is directly i mean directly behind because this is meant to pull the wool from over your eyes because you could be thinking that you're doing the right thing or that you're standing on business but no you you're kind of letting something stand in the way of you and your manifestation the easiest um the path of least resistance for your manifestation to get to you is for you to be the bigger person or put your energy for it or put your money for it and into this um person or into this thing and your manifestation is there you will see your manifestation instantly wow so power to let me know how this helped you 
let me know how you got your manifestation um what happened after you watched this reading this was amazing crazy um <laughs> wow i will see y'all in the next one bye hey pal three welcome to your reading and today i am going to be helping you perceive your manifestations so what i mean by that is that when you decide that you want to manifest something it is already there for you ask and it is given right so when you decide that you want to manifest something the universe gives it to you instantly because what we ask for we we shall receive we all know that but it's up to you to perceive it so it's up to you to get into that right energy to perceive it it's up to you to get into that right timeline to be able to perceive your manifestation because the manifestation is already there it's not like the the manifestation is coming to us we're just changing our perception so that we can see it right in front of us right so my guys gave me the um my guys gave me the idea for this reading to like pull the wool from over your eyes and help you to perceive your manifestation um power one and power two has been like um like wow amazing but my guys are saying that a lot of y'all may want to close your eyes put on your headphones and really really like take this reading in so you can visualize and really perceive your manifestation so pile three think of a manifestation that you are trying to bring into the 3d and i am going to help you to pull the wool from over your eyes so that you can perceive this manifestation so that you can hold this manifestation in your hands so that you can have this manifestation in the 3d as quickly as possible today's intention is going to be to change your perception so that you can get your manifestation so pile three for your tarot card we have the queen of swords for your eerie card we have talks down about you we have hang up the phone we have money over everything we have the picture of the lady in the dress and then we have don't worry you got this I just heard cut off loud and clear. Your manifestation is right on the other side of you cutting something or someone completely off. Completely off. Your manifestation is right, and I'm saying right on the other side of you respecting yourself in some type of way, shape, or form of you taking yourself seriously in some type of way shape or form of you prioritizing this manifestation as soon as you prioritize this manifestation that's when this manifestation will come into your reality maybe you think you've been um trying to bring this into reality but maybe you're not as is you're not making it um as much of a priority as you think you may be especially with this money over everything if this is a money manifestation you could be not prioritizing money at at all right now or you could be worrying about money And if you ask for money and you know that it is given as soon as you ask for it, then worrying about it is that's kind of, you know, there's no need. Cutting something off, cutting someone off, taking yourself seriously. 
is definitely going to bring in your manifestation instantly. As soon as you cut this off, as soon as you take yourself seriously. This doesn't mean that you have to be um, like anal or like a bitch or anything like that. But take yourself serious. Be serious about be serious about what you're doing. I'm hearing that Beyonce. Uh, I'm hearing that Beyonce um, TikTok. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Don't say what you're going to do. Do it. That's that's kind of the energy that spirit is giving me. Like, don't say what you're going to do. Do it. Be about it. Some of y'all could be asking about um, having a lot of money or being a boss. Because I'm getting boss vibes from pile three. If you want to be a boss, treat yourself as such. Respect yourself as such. If you're a leader... You can't be frolicking around with the with the common folk. And it, and this is not me being, you know, mean or trying to put anybody down or anything like that. But if you're trying to be a leader and if you want people to take you seriously, you have to treat yourself as such. And this is reminding me of something, too. Um, <clears throat> This is reminding me of something. It's, it's kind of like tarot readers. If... <clears throat> If you're a tarot reader and um, and you say, oh, I'm just having fun on the Internet, you know, take my tarot reading seriously or don't. Doesn't matter. Um, you know, I'm just playing around on the Internet and you're not really going to take their readings too seriously. I mean, you may, but then you may not because they're like, oh, you know, I'm just a tarot reader playing around on the Internet. But then there's another tarot reader that takes their work very very seriously and they know what they're talking about and they speak with so much passion and and wisdom you're gonna take their tarot readings a little bit more seriously than you would somebody's like oh don't take me too seriously i'm just playing around on the internet doing a little tarot reading you know you're not gonna take them as seriously so what spirit is saying is that there's a part in there's um something in your life where you could need to take yourself just a tad bit more seriously i mean like and again this doesn't mean that you have to get mean and cutthroat or anything like that but it's just like take yourself more seriously put yourself in that position that you want to be in so no matter what your manifestation is your manifestation will come through instantly as soon as you sit on the throne that you belong on because you're not sitting on your throne right now. You're not sitting where you're supposed to be. Like you're you're probably sitting out in the audience where you're supposed to be up on stage. So let me get you a few more cards. Hide and seek. You're hiding yourself in some way. Even if you are public, even if you do content, even if you're out and people see you every day, you're hiding that boss in um that boss um aspect to you you're hiding that leader aspect to you you may be trying to be a little bit too relatable even if you don't have a business or anything like that you may just be trying to be a little bit too relatable at work or a little bit too relatable whatever you do on a daily day on a day-to-day -day basis you're a master and you're trying to fit in with the with the interns or with the new people but you're you're a master you 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 are you the goat and and you're trying to fit in with the newbies hater loud healed heart chakra yes y'all y'all could have a healed um a healed heart chakra so y'all emotions are very very balanced right now and you're ready to take on this leadership role y'all could be worried about um not wanting to be too you know pushy or too bossy but you have a healed heart chakra so you're never gonna be too bossy or too or let the power get to you 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 will have you will handle power just well just right you will handle that is not what i meant to say you will handle power 
just fine. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, you will handle power just fine. Breaking news. So, yeah. Yeah, so you... Your manifestation is directly... And when I say directly, I mean directly. Your manifestation is directly behind you embody, embodying this leadership role you can embody this right here right now and this is why spirit asked y'all to close your eyes because they wanted you y'all to embody the the things that i was saying to y'all like embody yourself as that leader because you are that leader you are the goat you are the goat at what you do you are the top dog you are the boss if you want to be a boss be it be it and live it when you wake up you're the boss you're not an employee you're not even if you are employee employee when you wake up you're the boss you're the best at what you do treat yourself as such you're a goddess you're a god treat yourself as such every single day it's time to put down the 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 little boy games and the little girl games because it's 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 boss up time so as soon as you do that your manifestation is going to come in I'm, I'm hearing snapping so quick pile three so quick oh my spirit team just said within seconds so boss up pile three most definitely loved your reading let me know how this helps y'all in the comments let me know when you get your manifestation come back and let me know in the comments when you get your manifestation and i will see y'all in the next one bye hey pal four welcome to your reading and today i am going to be helping you to perceive your manifestations now what i mean by this is as soon as you decide that you want to manifest something it is already given to you right because ask and it is given so as soon as you ask for something the universe gives it to you right away but it's your job to perceive it it's your job to put yourself into that energy to to perceive that manifestation it's your job to put yourself on that timeline to be able to perceive that manifestation so my guys gave me this topic to um to help y'all to perceive your manifestations to pull the wool from over your eyes and to help you get your manifestation like in your hand in in the physical in the 3d so my spirit team is saying that a lot of y'all may need to close your eyes put on your headphones so you can really really visualize and so you can visualize and really get the gist of what i'm saying in the reading and they they think that it would really really help y'all out a lot to put on headphones close your eyes and really visualize um what i'm saying in the reading and um what else was i gonna say god i hope i said everything and also um Damn, I hope I said everything Paul for to explain it. And also, I'm basically I'm gonna be pulling the wool over your eyes so that you can perceive your manifestation, so that you can see your manifestation in front of you in the 3D, in your hands, in the physical. So, oh, I hope I didn't forget nothing. So let's see, Paul four. Let's see what cards you have. The other piles were so amazing, so deep, just so wow. So, for your tarot card, you have the Three of Wands. For your Eerie card, you have Misses You. For your other card, you have Healed Sacral Chakra. Then you have Soulfully Gifted. You have the um, glasses, like the Kanye West glasses. And then you have a lot of people talk good about you behind your back. Ooh.
so powerful your manifestation your manifestation is right on the other side of your optimism and your passion so especially with these glasses it's kind of like um the opposite of rose colored glasses it's like rose colored glasses but in a good way um this could be pulling a wool from over your eyes because you could be looking at something in a very negative or pessimistic way or not seeing the good in something but you don't know that your manifestation that you've been trying to bring in is actually right on the other side of you looking at that situation in a positive way and seeing how you can take that situation so far so power four there is a situation in your life right now that you're looking at as difficult you're looking at it as difficult maybe it's a sticky situation um maybe it's a sticky situation like it's a like oh i don't know how i'm gonna get out of this i don't know how i'm gonna get through this but actually with this soulfully gift gifted actually this this situation that you're in right now this sticky situation that you feel like you can't get out of you actually planned to be in a situation before you came on earth and the reason why you plan to be in a situation before you came on earth is so that it can ignite some type of passion in you and move you forward in life and no you don't have to go through negative things just to get somewhere but this sticky situation that you could be in could be making you frustrated and that's not when you when you plan when you planned on getting yourself in this situation you didn't plan for it to get you for to make you frustrated you plan for it to inspire you so in order for you to get whatever manifestation you're thinking of whatever manifestation you're thinking of right now that you're trying to bring into the 3d you are going to get this manifestation as soon as you look at this sticky situation as a fun little game as passion like wow how many different how how can i get myself out of this how there's so many different ways i can get myself out of this i can do this i can do that look at it as fun like look at it as wow i can use this opportunity to do some things differently or I can make some different things happen. Look at it as an adventure because you really can look at this like an adventure. And the wool could be pulled over your eyes right now because you're looking at it as a nuisance or a frustration. But it's actually meant to light the fire under you in a good way. It's not the situation that you're in, Power 4, is not even supposed to be painful. It's actually supposed to be fun. <laughs> it's actually supposed to be a good thing. Because I'm hearing that you have everything that you need to get out of this. And it's not even that hard to get out of it. The only thing that's making it hard is because you're looking at it as an annoyance or a nuisance or a frustration. And you will get your manifestation as soon as you start to get creative. And get yourself out of the sticky situation. Because you actually have the type of mind and a type of personality to get yourself out of situations like this and you could be thinking that people don't like you or most people don't like you a lot of people dislike you actually people love you and people are very attracted to you and um power four you can also use your outer appearance for a lot of things you can get away with a lot of things with your charm and your outer appearance i'm getting some of y'all it could be one and some of y'all it could be both going straight to sleep good news going to the bank we have going two times and i just heard going going back back to galley galley so in order for you to get the manifestation that you're thinking of right now 
you have to set out on this journey to get yourself out of this situation. And it's not going to be like a long journey. It's not like it's going to take you days, weeks, and months. S literally sit down and plan out how you're going to wiggle, wiggle your way out of this situation. Because you have a very, very creative mind and you could do it. And um, my spirit guys is reminding me of this kind of strategy to use. Imagine that your life is a movie. Like if you was watching the movie of your life, what would you be on the other side of the TV saying? You know how we talk to the TV like, girl, don't do that. Girl, you need to go that way. Boy, you need to go that way. Like what would you be telling yourself if you was watching your life as a movie? Take yourself out of your situation and watch your life like a movie. What would you actually do? Or even if you can find a movie that's similar to the situation you're going in, what would you tell those people to do? What kind of advice would you give them? How would you get out of that situation? Because we can always see what we would do if it wasn't us. And you could be in the middle of something and not knowing what to do because you're just so in it. Take yourself out of it and make it fun. Like your life is a movie. Don't take anything too serious to where it's making you frustrated because you, you have everything that you need. And as soon, as soon as you start planning your steps to get out of this sticky situation, your manifestation is going to come. It's right on the other side of that. Put the frustration down and pick up the enthusiasm and the optimism and just know that everybody loves you. When, you. when you walk around in the world, know that everybody loves you. Everybody loves you. That can be your new affirmation. Everybody loves you because they actually do. And then I heard this going back to Cali and misses you. You also have a lot of people that miss you and that want you to come back to them. Look, we also have heal third eye chakra and good news. You, you're more intuitive than you think you are. This With this soulfully gifted, once... Once you start figuring your way how to get out of this, you're going to start getting downloads and your manifestation is going to come like that. Your, your manifestation is coming through so quickly. So power four, let me repeat again. In order to get the manifestation that you are thinking of right now, you need to put down the frustration, put down the annoyance and pick up the optimism the enthusiasm and know that everybody loves you and get yourself out of that sticky situation get yourself out of it because you know how to do it you're creative use your creative mind put on your rose colored glasses and know that everything's gonna work out so pile four let me know how you got your manifestation let me know when you got your manifestation let me know how this worked out for you Thank you so much for watching. This was an amazing reading and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.